we are back and getting straight into the swing of things today. We're heading towards what looks to be a vineyard that I've yet to uncover. I'm curious if there's going to be any quests in there. But we're just going to this first marker go, and go. there's one right next to it. I'm pretty much due east hey of the Cocktrice Inn. Yeah, it's a monster den by the looks of things, along with a cave. Interesting. What kicky mores, we know what we need. Uh, start as... Memorial, let's go. up this hill here but I guess we're alright in terms of a monster nest. Uh, I'll run through what I've been doing between episodes in a short while. I need to loot up all these kicky moors first. Now I can... I can hear something moving around. I suspect it's got something to do with this cave. Could actually be related maybe to be to do the quest that we get from yeah from this vineyard that we've yet to visit that makes sense some more further in so we know we're not in the clear quite yet before we progress further we might actually find another way out of here I think we're gonna need Igni somehow what lost your nerve <laughs> yeah! I wonder is this it's not okay it's a hidden monster I was wondering if it was this marker here because that's looked pretty much right next to the vineyard See again, pretty much due east of the cockatrice in. Written north. Let's do with the quest, maybe. I, Orbin Rodier, my crest the Skylark, do hereby solemnly vow the foul beasts which infest the caves of Marcassant Woods shall by my hand be smitten to the death. This task I shall complete or fall a corpse myself. This I swear on my honour. I shall not flee the field of battle, shall not try any trickery or foul play, and shall fight worthily and with my visor raised. I solidify my vow with the present document submitted in the presence of seven witnesses. Orbin Rodier of the Skylark Crest. Unlucky buddy, he still fell. Shame. Doesn't look like it is to do the quest though. Kiki more breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. Indeed. Let's let me loot up everything first. Should have some fun with our dancing stars, see how much it does.
Let it all burn. No, it's not actually working. But okay then, go. That's what we want to do. It's worth a shot. And okay, nothing. I was expecting someone to jump out on me. Doesn't look like this company's actually doing anything to these. No. Great green monster born. It's the carapace. Okay. So I'm wondering what that sound is, but it's just me kicking bones there along the ground. Cutting flesh. Awesome. Just what I need in my inventory taking up my weight. At least there is another way out by the looks of things. Ah! Geralt. Right, my sheath. Maybe you'll you jump easier then. Nope. Still no. Have I at last done it? Fucking hell, fire. Entra yeah, okay. No, I'm still not out. Wait, yeah, I am. Oh no, I'm not. Oh, oh my god, this is literally a nightmare. Finally, ugh. Oh, sometimes that can be a real pain in the AS. Quite a steep drop, that, mind you, though. <sighs> right, we're out. See, I'm tracking big feet to fill, but that's not the aim of today. That's way too far away. I'm going to check out what this is. Oh, then where is this marker close to us? Right ahead, okay. So we're going to check out this marker, then these sort of couple over here, see if we run into anything. There is actually, like, a home over here. Just mark this off and go to there, then come up here. If I know we may. More kicky moles! Guess you're my monster for today. Kicky more breeding ground. Gotta destroy it if they're to disappear for good. The dancing star inside. It's been a while actually before a monster jumped out of there and attacked me. Kind of come to expect it now. Armor, ashes. I think there's anything else here to loot. No. Nothing at all. Yeah, so as you probably can tell between episodes, I've garnered quite a bit more experience by farming up uh, some of the hand spaces. Lovely view here. And I've been able to get myself quite a bit of money back because I was out of ruin stones, pretty much. I was completely out of them. So I had to enchant my chest with levity because I love having light armour with it being able for me to get my stamina back quicker. Uh, in my gloves, double Igni, in my trousers, double Quen, and in my boots, Quen and Igni, split. I also enchanted my standard, usual steel sword with preservation, and I did do my Grandmaster Wolven Silver Sword with severance. Now you can actually see the benefits here, so up to three different oils can be applied to a sword at any time. So, look at Erendite, so right there we've got Superior Beast Oil, Superior Necrophage Oil, and Superior Vampire Oil all on at the same time. Which is pretty crazy, to be honest with you. And um, we should probably put Insectoid Oil on there since we've been fighting Kikimors. Superior, so Insectoid, Beast, Vampire. So Vampire and Beast are about to run out. What should we up it with? We never know, we might run into Spectres and probably Necrophage again. Let's leave it at that. Do a resting up an hour actually. Alright, portions back. I'll get some more decoctions active the next time I go into a fight. If we go into a fight, but let's be honest, we're going to at some point today. Ah, oh, this is Duntine Castle then. And it's blocked off. Doesn't look like we'll be able to go in here. You're not to go anywhere. Halt! No passage. Sir Roderick does not wish to see any guests. 
Um, okay. Guess that ends today's ventures. At least in regards of Duntine Castle. Uh, Alright, I'm fine. I'll just go around this way, see what's at this. What looks like it could have been a stables at one point or another. Maybe. Well, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing any farming anymore at all. I don't really need to. I've crafted two Grandmaster sets. I'm not going to craft the other two. However, I I did cheekily have a look at the Manticore gear, and it actually seems, although the quest is called Grandmaster Manticore gear, the actual set is just called Manticore. So I don't think it actually requires the enriched dimeritium ingredients to craft it, which means I should be able to craft it fairly easily. I'm sitting on about 11 to 12k crowns, so I should with ease be able to craft that. So when we do head up to Lebioda's statue and complete Big Feet to follow, sorry, Big Feet to fill, we will this maybe craft the Manticore gear right after it. <laughs> Fuck you. You just guards me. You're lucky, I'm really tempted to get my sword out on you here when you do that to me. Besmirch my honour. Never again. Uh, that's the Lake of Cleansing, where we picked up one of the Manticore pieces. And that was one of the last places we were supposed to visit. Who are you? I got a gift from a druidess. What is it? Powdered mushrooms. Oh, I don't care for mushrooms. They're not to be eaten, silly. Drink a brew made of this powder, and you'll see things you'd never see otherwise. Like what? The other night. I saw the Prophet Lapiota himself. He came to my hut. His wheelie wagging free as the day he was born. Thanks for that story. I really wish I'd run into you now. Ugh, right. Wipe that image out of my head. Uh, we're not too far from the, the next marker. Oh, peacocks, hello. Peacock. When you do that, they're supposed to push the tail. <laughs> right, come on, I want to fight some bandits. Give me some thugs and vagabonds to kill. Damn, something's seriously wrong here. I really don't like it when you say that, Geralt. Okay, have, well, not have a feeling, we know what this is going to be. Black Blood, Thunderball, and like I say, I will take an Echidna. Did I put Vampire out on? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Never know, it might just be someone who's lost. I highly, highly doubt it though. wrong. Oh, you, really? Really? You're going to make me do this, aren't you? Quite active. Sir Christoph Duggery's Diary. I'm just going to move away a little bit. 
My beloved Seraphine has a lover. I'm not going to rend my garments, curse the gods or swear vengeance. My Seraphine brims with so much life energy, it was inevitable some would spill over into other canals. It is now up to me to cut off those spillways, vanquish my rival and hope the walls I erect will prove sufficient to satisfy her vitality and give us a life of mutual exuberance. I have already forgiven her. Now I need but meet her view and remove him from our life. Yesterday I followed Seraphine. They hold the trysts at the olive grove. How romantic. When they met, birds flew over the grove, a whole flock, twittering and chirping, as if celebrating the lover's joy, and as if mocking my cruelty. How symbolic. I can see this romance drain, my darling wife. Since she began seeing this, her lover, she has become anemic, eternally pale. She wanders the house at night aimlessly, blindly. She used to be so lively, so radiant, yet now she is listless, apathetic, resigned. I must gather my courage and end their relationship as soon as possible. I, Christoph Duggery, despise violence. I shall resolve the matter of my wife's lover pragmatically. I have prepared a full sack of Nilfgaardian florins, one so heavy I can barely lift. It. I shall wait for my Seraphine to return from the grove to our residence, and then I shall catch him, and make him an offer he cannot refuse. Saint Labiorda, give me strength. Can I leave? You really haven't attacked me, have you? I'm very surprised. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I think for Nagger enough, she'll just be like, Right, fuck this, I'm a vampire! Leave me alone! Leave... Fuck! Oh! Holy Jesus Christ. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Fucking, I'm attacking it just that. Nearly got ya. Oh. Oh. Not back a vial. I did not back a vial, Geralt. And that's probably what saved your life when she was about to drink your blood then. Holy shit. Right. Oh. And she dropped a letter. Very sorry about that. You might have noticed a little cut there. Um, apparently, uh, she doesn't always attack you. Because I finished reading that letter, and she didn't. Uh, I just quickly looked it up, and apparently that can sometimes bug for some people. So I just reloaded right here, turned around, and then I jumped out of my skin when she attacked me straight away that time. So apparently all you have to do is read the letter, then she should attack you. Uh, and then obviously she's dropped the other half of this tale. My darling girl, I cannot wait until we meet again. My nights are restless, my head full of thoughts of you and only you. If someone had told me but a few months prior such a virile and burning passion would bind me to another woman, I would have laughed in their face. But now, now my only desire is to be close to you. Christoph is beginning to suspect something, yet I hope my reassurances will quell his worries. I would not like to hurt him. If possible, he is a good man, warm hearted and honest, but the fire which once burned between us has extinguished. I know you understand this and I'm delighted I can be honest with you. Till we meet again, it cannot be too soon. Please, Zamina, take care. Yours loving, devoted, undyingly, Seraphine. And there we are. Oh, Jesus. That's it, I was, you know I was expecting that, that was sort of the whole point, but when she wasn't attacking me, that I, I ended up coming over here to see if there was anything in this house to get her to attack me again. Uh, there's nothing in here, um, really, I'll come in and just show you. 
let's go up here, go up there. Oh, there's a ladder around this side. With nothing up here. But yeah, apparently that can uh, sometimes just not trigger once you've read the note. It's probably because it's not quest related. But um, that quick reload just before, well, after we read the note, ended up uh, just springing it immediately. And yeah, probably lost a good uh, half a year off my life from that. So, cheers. Uh, now then, okay, so I need to remark that. So we've got this and then some sort of establishment which is hidden. Oh, we can see it there, but just in hidden in the woods. I suspect this is uh, probably going to be more kicky moors or something. They seem to be surrounding all of Duntine. Peacocks, nothing to worry. At the moment, anyway. Come on, be right. Can't see anything yet. Just over the brow of this hill. Oh. Oh, it's... This would be a Vintner's contract, isn't it? It is. Oi, Master Witcher, come here, please. Wound doesn't look good. Patch that up quick if I were you, before it starts festering. If I needed medical advice, I'd have called for a healer. And you look like none such, not even a quack. <sighs> mm -hmm. And if you wanted a witcher to help you, you should have thought twice about being rude. <sighs> Forgive me. The pain's so blasted bad, it's darkened my mood. A foulness has made its lair in the grotto. I barely escaped with my life. I've been eyeing the cave for a storehouse quite some time. Would you look inside? Uh, my fee. Guess I can have a look. Not for free, though. How much? Oh, cheap. Well, that's closer to sensible, but still too much. A fair offer. See what I can do. Wait here, and you need to clean that wound. Trust me. Indeed, for it festers and you turn into the monster that did it to you. <laughs> okay, another Vintner's Contract. I wasn't expecting to run into one of these. Fog. Don't be what I think you might be, please. What now, you piece of hell? Oh, okay, that's fine. This giant centipedes actually thought it was going to be foglets. in here and a hell of a lot of loot okay we took all that then. Uh, wine wine Ooh. looks like there's more down below wonder what happened blood smeared diary black magic doll two things probably a sign of something Holy Leviota must have given me a kindly wink today, or perhaps it was mere chance and circumstance. The important thing is, I found a cave that will make a perfect wine cellar. Production's been going wonderfully the last few seasons, and the lack of storage space has become a pressing issue. I could have hired men to dig a cellar, but I'd hate to slow work on barreling the grapes, and at any rate, no dugout cellar can match a limestone cavern. The one I found is perfect, spacious, and not at all overly damp, and I came across it thoroughly 
momentarily by accident while strolling among the rocks. My foot slipped into a crevice, and when I tugged it free, a few stones fell down into it. I listened for a long while before I heard them hit the bottom, and then walked around the entire slope until I finally found an entrance. Tomorrow, we will begin turning it into a storehouse and transferring the barrels. Later entry consisting of hurried scrolled entries, monsters in cave, huge centipedes, men barely escaped. We'll try go again, recover what we can, must block off all entrances. Hope no one else ever stumbles into that accursed cave. Until Geralt of Rivia comes down to vindicate the place then. Christ. Poor guy got up there and even died. Can hear them rumbling around now. That's the way we came in. Come on, come on. First one died, I got out of the way of its uh, whirling attack with a slice of luck. Anything else in here before we make our exit? Uh, some up there, yeah. Gasmus trousers. Wine. That it looks like. Okay. Again, nice amount of experience today so far. Vintner's contract, a couple of months there, so we're getting 100 experience from them, which is a lot. So I averaged it out, it's about 150 to 200 experience clearing out uh, Mount Crane Castle of all the bandits there. And that hand space is the biggest one I've came across thus far. I mean, I've only found two, but. So, so there's one left somewhere, and I'm pretty certain it's up north. like an extra route in this place. Okay. Nothing else in here, it's fine. Jump across, we got anything? Oh come on, for all that there's nothing over here. Gosh darn it. And what's the situation? See what's amiss in my storehouse? Done that already. Ran into a few giant centipedes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and how am I to prevent them from crawling back in? Don't know. I kill monsters. Don't predict the future. You needn't be cross, Witcher. You shall get a good price on all my goods. In gratitude. Come back in two days' time. You will see the fine storehouse I've made. I'm off. See you later. Somehow, Mr. Wine Merchant, I don't believe you. Last Vintner to tell me that disappointed me hugely because there was absolutely fuck all and he was surely charging me more than he should have been. Uh, now. There is no marker over here, but because there's Bill. Unless it's where we met those vampires. No, because that's there. The vampires we ran into that came from Bassin Farm went into that cave, and this has actually got a dock next to it as well. Uh, werewolves, not vampires, sorry. It was the couple that were driven away from the farm. Shouldn't need to track it, there's a road that leads directly up to it, so we'll go and check out what it is. Someone down at that bridge, I think. Duntine Crossroads. This place to explore at night. Unsure. Soon find out, I guess. Ruins. Elven ruins. Not surprised there. Oh, got a quest. I'm expecting to find a quest here. Give me peace, peace. What 
makes you insist on me as your victim? Why choose me to torment? Be gone, foul spirit. You're tormented. By what? Forgive me. But I must ask directly. Are you a man? I... I no longer trust my senses. Yes. No, I'm a witcher. That, well, I am a man, but also a witcher, so that's like a bit... Not exactly. I'm a witcher. Quite a few folk think I don't deserve to be classified as a member of the human species. Know some personally. A witcher? But no. Nor can you help me. We'll see. Just tell me what the problem is. A foulness. A demon or wraith haunts me. Grants me no rest. It wants something. I sense this. But no, not what. Each day it appears. Tarries. Then leaves. It's here now. There. Beyond the trees. Don't see a thing. Of course not. It cannot be seen. Yet you see it? Only when I drink the brew, which brings a pain to my head. Nausea. But I endured these to keep an eye on the wraith, my tormentor. This demon of yours, can you describe it? It is an enormous horse. Its hoofbeats pounding in the dark. It gallops to me, stops, stares, then runs on. Sure it's not just a wild horse, run of the mill? The creature is not of this world. When it gazes at me, a terrible chill pervades my soul. It is evil condensed. Its eyes black, void. Each time it comes, terror grips me. I cease what I'm doing, still my breath and heart. What's your brew made of? Gotta wonder what's causing such strong visions. You drop in some mushroom, chumber tub, dancing dewlap? Close. The common grey top. I see you know your herbs. Grey top? Variety's extinct, if I recall correctly. Nearly, but not quite. I was able to grow a few from dried spores. I'd hoped a brew of grey top would reveal this nightmare. I was not wrong. Far as I know, Greytop produces some powerful side effects. Though it can, in fact, reveal the hidden, the immaterial. Yes, I see the evil. Better that than to know it is there, but not know where. Uh, stop taking it, yeah. <laughs> Need to talk about how much I'll get paid first. Is it gold you want? Orans or Novigrad crowns. Florins will work too. I've none of any coin. I've nothing, in fact. Just potatoes in the cellar. A good crop this year. Tend to this quickly, completely, and several sacks will be yours. Agreed? Not really, but don't need any pay. Okay, fat yeah, you can keep your you can keep your potatoes if you want. If that's the case, no pay required. Need those potatoes more than I do. Fine. You seem sure something's out there. I'll see what I can do. Start by taking a look around. Equine Phantoms. Okay, use your witcher senses to investigate the area and find out what's tormenting the hermit. There's a lot of animals around here. Dead moths, attracted to some ghosts like to the light of a candle. Hmm, seems there's at least some truth to the hermit's ravings. That looks like blood there. Oh, hello kitty. Sorry. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? Crows as well, okay. 
The Flagellant's Manifesto. Fellow sons and daughters of Leviorda, the end is nigh. Mend your ways and put faith in the good tome. For our prophet has written, To shun the pleasures of the flesh and shirk from comfort is at times recommended, and to value one's neighbour's fortune above one's own comfort is commendable. That is why we, the eighth day flagellants, scourge ourselves and torment our flesh to ensure all folk of the world would enjoy long and prosperous lives. Whatever evil, sickness or misconduct lurks in this world's dark corners, survive not because we have been negligent in striking our backs with the whip. Come and grey tub. Strong hallucinogen. Not extinct. Don't often get to see that. Drops of blood on the pillow. Trail of them leading to the window. Shutters closed tight. Need to check the other side, see if the trail continues. So I saw some blood out here, and we did. There'll be truth to these ravings, you say, Geralt. Trail of blood starts at the pillow, ends here. Medallion's still vibrating. Something drinks the hermit's blood at night. That I know. Gotta talk to her. Maybe she can tell me something more. Okay. Um, why's she gone? I could hear her then, I saw her. Witcher. Any herbs you wanna sell? Heard flagellants whip themselves to atone for all humankind's wrongs, to appease the gods, gain their forgiveness. That why you do it? We reach our own reasons. I seek to atone for the suffering of a living being, which once fell victim to another's vanity. I care not for humankind, preferring instead the company of animals. Okay, um, do you know what? Just let's see. What do you have to sell? Like to take a look. Depending on how this quest goes, she might disappear at the end of this. I just want to see if this particular herb that's so rare, if she's selling it, but she is not by the looks of things. No, it's just all standard bits. Most likely some kind of wraiths tormenting you. Can't tell what kind though. Felt weak, spent lately? Notice bite marks on your skin? As I said, I feel weaker by the day. And bites. Of course, there are lice and midges here aplenty. This isn't lice. Something much bigger drinks your blood while you sleep. But I do not sleep. Not a wink. He's always present, always watching. I cannot bear it any longer. Sadly, not much I can do. Can't exterminate it if I can't see it. The great top. I shall make a brew of it for you. I've two mushrooms left. Enough for one dose. Perhaps then you'll see what I do. This mushroom, even in me, could produce some nasty, unpredictable side effects. True. There is no knowing how great top would affect a mutated body. Proper brew could be our only chance to figure this out. Okay, so, ready the brew? Alright, high time we tried this. If I start muttering something about unicorns or sorceresses, ignore it.
Looks like it went well. See no wraith. Wow, this clover's amazing. Now that's what I call a bouquet. Who said that? Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. Even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? What the fuck is going on? Oh, yeah, for starters, yeah. Your voice. It's, uh, interesting. Gotta say, I expected a young mare to sound, uh, girlish. Based on what? Your vast experience with talking animals? As far as I know, I'm your first. Good point. <laughs> Must be the brew that did this. Interesting side effect. Great, isn't it? You should take this stuff more often. Got so many pointers I could give you. Can't, sadly. Drinking this too often could prove fatal. Hey, why do you always show it when I... <laughs> hey, you know how you always show up when I whistle? How's that work exactly? Well, you're my human. Gotta be there when you need me. Yes, I'll be there for you, ooh, ooh, as the world falls down. Still kind of strange. How you cross the ocean when I call sometimes, but then get hung up on the tiniest fence. What's that about? Uh, what can I say? Everyone's got limits. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Listen, got this contract I need to finish before the brew wears off. Right. Monster won't slay itself. Let me see. First up, I need to know what we're dealing with. Follow me, and try not to trample any plants or small animals. Geralt, we gotta inspect this area closely. I'll look for clues. You stand there and... Well, just stand. Right. Will you look at that? Okay. <laughs> uh. I don't see anything here. These are hoof prints. Not just any old horses either. These were left by an astral being. Or the worldly. We gotta follow them. Well, so I'm taking your role now and you're taking mine by the looks of things. Geralt, look! This here's definitely a clue. Dead moths. Often mean a phantoms nearby. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Now, what about the smell? Same whiff I caught at the cemetery in Vizima when we were hunting ghouls. The smell of death. Smells normal to me. Not taking me for a ride, are you? Uh, seriously? <laughs> Where are you going, Arch? All right. Now I know what we're up against. What do you do? Right, Geralt. Let's sum up what we know so far. Probably dealing with some kind of earth, that's all we know. We know pitifully little. We're dealing with some kind of wraith or phantom, most likely. It visits the hermit at night, drinks her blood. Even if we manage to find it, I've got no idea how I could possibly fight it. Geralt, please, I got this. It's definitely an Umbra, an immaterial wraith. This one's assumed the form of a horse. An Umbra actually makes sense. Umbra are completely invisible, even to witchers. But how can you be sure? Because it's not invisible to me, Doofus. It's right over there. It's getting away! Come on, Witcher! Hop in the saddle! Gotta catch it! Nope, shit, okay. Chase is right down. 
Come on, Root. There's the Umbra! Let's go, Geralt! After it! Hey! Gonna save my strength a bit. No telling how long we're gonna need to keep running. Geralt, we gotta have a man to horse talk. No offense, but your riding skills, they leave a bit to be desired, buddy. You'd really do me a solid if you could uh, apply a slightly surer hand, be a little more decisive about where you want me to go. <sighs> Sometimes I got no idea, buddy. Do I go left, right, toward where I'm standing? Yeah, and it'd be great if you could respond more fluidly to my commands. Hey, heard this one? Horse walks into a tavern, and the innkeeper says, Hey, pal, why the long face? Ah! <sighs> Let's not lose sight of that umbra. Can you see it now? Yeah, it's right there. Rock Roach. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? This <sighs> <laughs> banger is funny. <laughs> Sometimes buck me off in the middle of a fight. First I've heard. Don't recall that ever happening. Of course you don't. <gasps> Melted into thin air. Uh oh. the gravestone. Marcello Clerici, knight, died last year. Was more or less the same age as our hermit. Seems his spirit's become a horse-shaped umbra that's tormenting Panastri. Why are you telling me this? I can read and draw my own conclusions. Thinking aloud, that's all. Helps me focus. <laughs> Geralt! It's the Umbra! Attack! Let me explain! Talk, but make it fast. Why are you tormenting the Hermit? She torments me! Refuses to forgive me! I'm denied peace in the afterlife, and it's all her doing! Each day I come and beg her for clemency. Beg her for clemency? You drink her blood, drive her mad with fear. I don't know how to explain it, but yes! The monstrous force takes me. Though I also know I'll not have peace till the day Pinastri forgives me. You and the Hermit, how do you know each other? We met as babes, grew up side by side. I... I loved her. Yet she was always sad, nothing could cheer her. The world terrified her. I thought her gloom came from being poor, so I did my damnness to take us from our village, make us a better life elsewhere. Became a squire, took her with me to the palace, but Panastri soon learned nobles are no more decent than peasants, not a speck. 
Once even I'd grown vile to her eyes, she fled the palace and joined the flagellants. I left the court to be near her, yet she cast me off, said she didn't want to know me. When the whip bearers proved too hard-hearted for her too, she became a hermit. I see it clearly now, though I never understood her while alive. From the grave's dark depth, the living are bright, sharp flares. You see all their thoughts at once? Now I understand why she had to cast me off. Hmm. She's full of rage. Probably what turned you into an Umbra. Why take the form of a horse? A horse? What do you mean? Each day since I die, the power lifts me from my grave and, and makes me run. Then I return with blood in my mouth. I don't know what this is, how it comes to pass, but I do know the torment will continue until she forgives me. But she sees me as a horse, you say? Seems so. Same way I saw you. Must have hurt her something awful if she refuses to forgive you. Would rather see you suffer. What did you do? To her? Nothing. But my horse, I... I, I flogged it to death. Pinastri, she saw this. Proud stallion, my blaze. But he was a bucker, and tossed me during a tourney, one I'd wanted to win badly. Pinastri had been so glad they'd let me stand. Me, the peasant's son. I wanted to win it for her. But that horse made me loose. Rage overcame me. I struck and struck until at last he fell. Oh, the regret! I beg you, forgive me. Absolve me in Blaze's very name. Not the one you should ask for forgiveness. You don't deserve mercy. Well, we just learned then he was saying forgiveness is the only way to to drive the spirit away. Otherwise, it'll just keep coming back. He'll only know peace once he's been forgiven. So I think that's the the way we gotta go. Can't forgive you for that. Not in my power. But your horse could. Please, I'd do anything. I'm desperate. Help me. Noble Mayor, forgive me my sin. Could free his spirit, pardoning him on behalf of his horse. But you shouldn't do it if you don't think he deserves forgiveness. Did a rotten thing. Got no excuse. Your horse was loyal. Did the best damn job he could. That's how we horses are. True. I know I deserved what befell me. But we aren't vengeful, don't hold grudges, don't dwell on being left in monster-infested woods. So, in your poor Blaze's name, I forgive you. Oh, thank you. I feel it's incredible. Such relief, such lightness. <laughs> All right then. Guess we might as well head back. Penastri's nights ought to be ghost free from now on. Anything to add, Geralt? Nope. Let's go see her.
Phantom's gone. Shouldn't torment you ever again. I felt a change. I did. As if I'd been released from a cramped, dank cellar. I had come to belief. No one could help me. I'm grateful, Witcher. Ought to thank my horse, actually. Phantom's departure? Mostly Roach's doing. Then I thank you too, noble creature. Gotta admit, easy peasy with our powers combined. So, what now? We hit the path? Right to the nearest notice board? Rustle up another contract? Exactly. Oh, effects of the bruise waning. I can feel it. Won't be able to understand you soon. Ah, that's horseshit. I mean, I got so much more I want to tell you, and... Clever beasts, horses. Farewell, Witcher. <laughs> Alright. Aside from the music giving me a massive feels moment from the end of the base game, that's quite possibly one of the funnest and most enjoyable quests I've ever done. Understanding Roy, that was really, really good. Oh, this music. <laughs> I think we'll end it there. I'm going to hang out with uh, Roach a wee bit longer. So we'll be heading northwards in the next episode. So, I'll see you in the next episode. Sweet.